Buenos dias. Hola. Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Bliviet. I'm not even sure if I'm saying half those words right. So you're uh, looking at the Elon Paul stream of No Man's Sky. We're going to do something a little different today. I have already done one of these in the past, and I'm going to do another one. Um, I'm really kind of liking it. So if anyone has seen my latest Impossible Mission run, uh, I think I named it Mission Impossible, and I'm probably going to have to go in there and change that. So you're probably going to see even the thumbnail change on it. I don't want to get in trouble with anybody. But it is the Impossible permadeath run so basically what we're doing today is we're doing the iron man challenge like we would do in the past nothing special right we're going to go into the permadeath settings we're going to set everything to challenging expensive harsh we're maxing everything out again as you can see challenging uh we're going to disable the tutorial of course make the reputation go a little higher that's no problem we're locking our settings now the best part about this is, is not only is this the no starter ship challenge, we're also going to do no HUD. We are not going to know what direction we're heading in. We're not going to know what in the world is going on. Everything is visual. Everything will have to be seen with your own eyes through the game screen in order to see everything that's out there. We're not going to be able to see buildings 500 clicks away or 450 clicks away. We're going to go to the tops of a lot of the big mountains that might be on the landscape that we're going to end up on in order to find what we're looking for. We need to do two things. One, do not go to your starter ship. So we will take a moment to make sure that we're not going in the direction the starter ship is in. And then we're going to turn off the HUD. And then the second thing, and you know what? I don't even think we can do that until it's repaired. So the second thing we're going to do, so we're not, we're going to turn off the HUD immediately. That's number one. Number two, we have to either find a crash ship to repair, that will be ultimate, or find a ship that we can buy at a trade station, if we can find one. So this is going to be really tough. Now, I'm not sure at the beginning of all this whether I'm going to do this in one run or not. In other words, one long video, or whether we're going to break this up into multiple videos, but we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like a hot planet, first of all. Um, I do not have anything near me, like a cave or something. So we will just have to head in the direction. Now, normally you're, you're facing in the direction your ship is in. So we're going to do a major right-hand turn here and head this way. Okay. Oh, remember what I said. HUD disabled. So you'll notice that everything on the screen has disappeared. I can hit my F button. It's not working. It's not going to tell me what my health is. It's not going to tell me what is happening. So I will have to acquire things on my own. Uh, good news is it looks like we have plenty of carbon on this planet. So that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and get some of this stuff going here. Because we have no idea what is happening. I think these rocks, if you see sparks on the rocks, it means you're gathering it in. And especially little crumbles that appear like that, right? So we know we're getting some ferrite. We definitely need dihydrogen. We all know this. And we're going to need some carbon soon, so... Alright. Yeah, overheated. can't seem to get something over here. Is there something in the way? Okay. Alright, so we know our thermal protection is falling. Look at the backpack. The blue bar is your health, the red bar is your protection. So we need to find something soon. Is this a cave, or is it just a... It's a cave. Alright, we're in good shape. We can get tucked into a corner over here. We should be in good shape. Is that working? I don't know. It's still dropping. Crap. We're about to get some damage here, so...
let's see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some sodium. Dihydrogen crystal. Well, no, our hazard protection's at 90%. Well, that's weird. I could have swore it was a lot lower. All right, we're in good shape. I thought we were in very terrible shape. Uh, I think that's a nothing found. Got a circuit board out of it. Dihydrogen crystal. We got enough dihydrogen. We got some ferrite. We need some more. Oxygen. We got a little bit of carbon. Okay. Let's go to the big one over here. And we just need to find ourselves a cave. All right, that gives us some oxygen for our, our health. Really would like to find a cave, though, so that we can hunker down into. All right, sodium. All right, we're in better shape now. There's some more sodium ahead. Uh, let's get some carbon. Pretty sure that might be carbon. Okay, let's check. Yes, it was. Okay, good. Alright, so we're in good shape there, too. I see some sodium up ahead. I'm going to grab that as well. So there'll be a lot of talking and freaking out because we see nothing. We also need the dihydrogen for making dihydrogen jellies, which is making life support gels. So we'll get some more of that as we go. Let's get that sodium. Can't even analyze those guys yet. Oh, if you hear any coughing in the background, we've got a kid who's going through some allergy issues right now. So you might hear some coughing and hacking every now and then. It happens. But rather than telling him, stop coughing, you know, which would just be rude as a parent, you know. We don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not, like, this. Ooh, that's ships flying overhead. Where are they headed? Oh, for crying out loud, you're kidding me, right? No idea which way they're headed. I got a rock in front of me, unfortunately. So we just need to find a cave at this point. That's what we really, really need. Uh, let's see. Our hazard protection is only down to 80%, strangely enough. I'm trying to figure that out. Something isn't right. What does this give us? 5% life support. So let's go ahead and get ourselves back up there. So either this planet is a lot kinder to me than I thought. I'm going to get some more ferrite. Oh, I'm out of charge. Okay. We really need to get some carbon. Hey, this is carbon. Now, you know as well as I do that this damaged machinery that we find, while great we can get some nanites and stuff out of it. As you can see, I just got 26 nanites. Um, there should be some buried deposits near here, right? Um, but we can't see any. Why? Because we don't have a visor or HUD. So even if we repair our visor, it really makes no difference. So I can now repair my multi-tool. And we're going to need a lot more ferrite because we're going to need it later on. And I don't have any boosted areas in here, so we'll just have to live with that. We can get an analysis visor and a terrain manipulator. We definitely need the terrain manipulator. I'm going to go ahead and put it in now, but I don't have nearly enough carbon to make anything to dig around here. So we need carbon. Let's get it. Oh, okay, so all these plants are... Wiring carbon. That's fascinating. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, is this rock? Yep, we can get the rock, too. Okay, good. Okay. Hazard protection is just taking a very long time to run down. 
So I'm going to guess that the, that the heat index on this planet is just enough to cause a problem, but not enough to make it drop drastically. And because we're doing the no tutorial, it's going to not... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not going to storm it yet until we get much further into our missions and stuff. I think I see a cave over there. I think I'm going to head in that direction. Alright, how much carbon do I have? Well, you should have enough for two carbon uh, nanotubes. Oh, we got a life support gel. I didn't even realize that. That's cool. Alright. And we're down to 19%, as you can see. Finally. Alright, we need to head over there. I'll come back to this area probably. Maybe. Sort of. Let's see if that really is a cave. And if it is, we can disappear into it for a little bit. Uh, not a cave. Is this a cave? Cave! That's alright, we're in the cave now. Okay, let's see what kind of damage we took. If any. Oh, thank heavens, no damage. So, we're gonna put you over here, we're gonna put you over here, and here. That's what I always like to do. Alright. Okay, so we did take some damage. Our shield should be going back up here shortly, but now we're in an area where we can get some batteries. We still don't have the ability to analyze anything. Whoops. That's not what I was trying to do. Hazardous flora. We'll either get sodium or oxygen from it, and we need both. Okay. And what do we get out of it? So we got some sodium and we got a little bit of oxygen. Okay, the multi-tool with the charge is gone. So we'll put some more carbon in. We need a lot more carbon here, folks. Let's get some cobalt first. Should we get out of that? Oh, now we get rid of that. I don't need that. Cobalt, cobalt, cobalt. 16, okay. We need a lot more cobalt. But we need a lot of carbon, too. So we're only going to get a little bit of cobalt right now. We need to go search for some carbon. Now that our shield is back up to normal. Alright. Okay, we're down to 23... Cobalt, it's just. It should get us up to 50, I think. 51, that's fine. So let's get some carbon. We have some ferrite. We can make batteries now. Let's go ahead and make some batteries. Okay. That should do it. Five more batteries. And we got one life support, so we should be in good shape for our shields. Let's go ahead and exit the cave and get ourselves some carbon. And we may be coming back to this cave in a little bit. That's ferrite, I know, not carbon. We kind of need that, too. Maybe we can't get the tree, right? I wonder how much it would give us. This is carbon. I'd like to find some condensed carbon. I mean, that would be fantastic. But we need to analyze. Do we have an analysis visor yet? No, we do not. Because these might give us condensed carbon at some point. Uh, we're down to 8%. How much carbon did we get? 38. Put it in there right now. Uh, let's see if we can make an analysis visor. We need only one carbon nanotube, so we'll have to get some more. Okay, carbon. Again. I don't want to go too far. Got some plants here. We'll get these guys. All right. <clears throat> Once we get ourselves enough supplies, we should be fortunate enough to be able to get some things done around here and really start searching for stuff. How are we doing on the carbon front? 71. 
Really need some bigger plants. We got a few floating around. How much carbon we got? We got enough. Let's go ahead and make the carbon nanotube. And we should be able to repair this. Now that we have that going on. Alright. Hazard protection's down to 20. Let's go ahead and head for our cave again. If I can remember where it was. I think it was over here. There it is. Okay. Alright. So we should be recovering now. Oh, we're getting something from that. Is that carbon? I guess we'll find out in a second. We got sparks coming from it. Or, or, or do we? Are we actually increasing in anything? Carbon is at 84. No, we're not getting anything. That's a waste. Okay. don't think anything in here is going to give us carbon. But we have some other things we can gather. I think we're out. seem to get those. Let's get these. You know what? We didn't do this yet. We got a secondary element in these guys. Eh, it's ionized cobalt. It's worth a little bit of something, but I don't see any thing hanging from the ceiling. Okay, that's what we gotta look for, and that's just gonna be cobalt at this point. So, what are we looking at? 43, 48, seven more cobalt. Grab the battery. Is that seven? Wow. All right, that'll give us one more battery. I just want 10 batteries to start with. Yeah, we'll make 11. That'll get rid of the cobalt that we had in our inventory. Ionize, we're going to put down here. This is our life support. Okay, which we're going to put all the way over there. Dihydrogen, 175, huh? Not bad. You know what? Let's go ahead and make some life support gels. We need carbon. Of course we do. Now let's put oxygen here, sodium here. Okay. I think we got things arranged. Okay. Let's head out of the cave. It's nighttime. I don't know what the temperature is going to be like. But we're going to go ahead and head back in this direction again. I would hope to head back to where the machine was, but I think I want to make progress. Nope. Just curious. So we need more carbon. I want to start watching specifically for condensed carbon. And we do need to get up to some of these taller mountains at some point. Uh, that's not going to be tall enough. Boy, it's going to be hard to see things with all this huge vegetation around here. Uh, that's going to be a problem, I think. having sentinels popping in soon, so that's the next thing we're going to have to worry about. Yeah, they're headed 
that way. I really need to get to the top of the mountain. Let's grab some of the sodium. And I just saw that guy at the last second. Did he damage me? No. Just gotta keep an eye open on that. Okay, our hazard protection's down to 50%. Sure is a lot of ships flying around, so that's good. our hazard protection. Got batteries, but we don't want to have to squander them by putting two in my exosuit. Very steep side. Get us a little bit of an extra boost to get to the top. And then we'll take a look around when we get up here. Again, I'm not seeing any condensed carbon anywhere yet. Hazard protection is down to 14. We're going to go ahead and use the sodium this time. We'll just watch our screen as best we can. I'm ah, sorry. Pardon me. We have no credits, as you know. We have nothing. We haven't even analyzed anything to get credits at this point. Get some more carbon while we're here. These little bushes seem to carry a good amount. See which way they go. Right, left, left. Okay. So, this is a ringed planet. You can see there's rings up here. So, and they're really taking a sharp left. Alright. We're going to head in the direction of the rings at this point. I just want to make sure they don't start circling or something like that. But it looks like they're just heading away. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. So we're going to head in the direction of the rings. And we'll use that as our guidance to get where we need to go. Thirty-one. Wow. Okay, so you see we can see, but we have no idea which direction we're looking in, right? Um, what happened to my batteries? Oh, okay, never mind. Wrong one. Okay. We can see, but we have no idea which direction. It's not going to note any buildings. We're not going to see any materials. I could do a scan, and you see what it did. Nothing. It's not going to notice anything down there. So we've got to find everything by sight. So, yeah, that's what makes this really tough. Now, I'm not seeing any buildings from up here, but as I said before, this high, high, tall vegetation is going to be causing us some severe issues. So let's get down from here. Some sodium right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Now, these guys are heading in the direction I was going, so let's see where they end up. Grab plants along the way, you know how I feel about that. Looks like they're still headed to the left. So, I am going to continue on towards the rings as a guidance. Maybe a little bit more to the left of them, I don't know. I'd really like to find some condensed carbon on this planet. Ah! And we have some unburied technology, huh? Hey, how about some protection? What do we get? Nanites, that's what we got. What is this for? Hazard protection. Excellent. So that's what we will use for hazard protection. And this is life support. Good. Let's get our unburied technology. So that's going to give us some money. Uh, let's... Where's the rings at? 
Let's keep going that direction. The only good news about nighttime, as you all know, is that everything glows. You know, the, the things that you need, like the sodium plants here. They're easier to find. It'd be great to find some oxygen plants, because I'm going to need them. Soon. Very soon. Ah, it's a shadow, is what that was. Okay. Did I get damaged? No. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Oh, they headed that way. Okay. I'd like to know which way they turned, but I think we were too far away to see that. Okay. Gonna use this while we can. things last, so that's the only reason I can use them safely. Okay, good. Getting ourselves a lot of sodium here, so this is good. This will help us out greatly. My hazard protection should be dropping by now. It is. Uh, life support, let's get you back up to where you need to be. Okay. Keep an eye out for more plants. And we definitely, like, I have to keep reminding myself I need to get more carbon. Okay. So try to use features of the landscape in order to get where you need to go. Sounds like we've got some more ships coming. There they are. Only two this time. Now they're heading more in a left direction here, left of the rings. Let's see if they, like, we can see off where they turn. Uh, we've got plants in the way, so I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. They're still heading left. All right, so maybe we ought to head in this general direction. Let's head for that that uh, mountain right there. Let's go for that, and let's see what we can find. Maybe we'll run across something. dropping fast now. I thought it wasn't dropping as fast as before, but now I know. Okay. That just gave us, looks like more nanites. Okay. Gotta make sure, because you never know. So how do we find buried technology? This is how you find it, folks. Only thing you can do is when you get to one of these, blast the landscape until you find it. Now, at some point, you can sometimes say, okay, I've had enough. I'm not looking anymore. Look for the little blue sparkles, indicating that you found it. Let's go over here. Now that we've created a tunnel, we can actually take another look. Looks like we have a cave system right here. Yeah, we found a cave system. Go figure. Let's just hit it in the other direction real fast and just see if it's over there. There it is duck into the cave real quick, too. Alright. So, there's our ring. We're going to be heading in that direction now, towards the mountain. Let's drop into the cave real quick. And see if we can chill out for just a couple minutes. Because our hazard protection should be probably... Yeah, see, it's climbing again. Good. Let's get a mining laser going on. Might as well get some stuff here. There we go. Okay. Where's our opening? There it is. Problem is, I wonder if we can get our way out of the cave now. Let's head up this way. Yeah, it looks like we got some nice flora. Go. All right. 
Nope, nothing over here. So, let's switch out. See if we can make ourselves a tunnel leading out anyway. Oh, daytime. You know what that means. Sentinels should be arriving soon. So we're heading in this general direction. We were going to say we were going to head towards one of the mountains, right? Gosh, I hope we didn't get turned around. There we go. Okay. Making sure my light is off. I don't like to have my light on. Oh, crap. Did we get turned around? And the sad part is, there's really no way to tell. Hmm. Hugging the landscape, that's very interesting. And he's heading to the right. How come I get the feeling we need to be heading in that direction? Let's look for something real quick here. Let's go over here. Okay. Did we... It's still glowing. Did we actually not grab anything out of there? No. I guess we got it. Just for some reason it's still glowing. So we approached it from this direction. So we really needed to be headed that way. Right? Am I right? I think I'm right. No. We came from that direction. We went down here first to pick up the sodium. Went back and cleared out all this direction. We're really headed that way. So that's the mountain we need to go to. Woo! Wow. Yeah, I messed that up big time, didn't I? Yep. Yeah, see, I don't recognize any of this, so... Which doesn't tell you what you're picking up. So, you're going to have to check your inventory after you're done. Wow. Okay. Let's check my inventory. Okay, we got another dihydrogen gel. You know what we can do with that. I'm going to save one of these, just in case. Condensed carbon. There we go. Uh, silicon. We don't need any of that. We also don't need any of the ammunition. Okay. I was just about to say, I think my... I'll just put that in there. I was almost there. Now... The damage might be taking a heart away from me, so I'm going to have to do something here about that. Oh. Yep, Sentinels are here. I'm going to have to do something about that, and that is unfortunate. I am going to have to kill an animal. So, as soon as we come across an animal, we can get some meat from it. Okay. And hopefully that doesn't upset any more animals. Because I've got to be certain I do this right. So there's some meat. Just in case I knocked a couple hearts off of me, that should bring it back. I don't like doing that, but it was needed and it was necessary. Ah, wish I could grab that. Uh, where's that mountain at? That? There it is. Okay, we wanted to head that direction. My bad. So we can get a look around. A look see. There we go. Okay. Uh, we got some Mordite. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Mordite. We don't have a lot of money, as you can see. Put this in our multi tool real quick. Yeah, buddy. We're full charge now. Life support's getting low. So's that. Okay. Just gonna keep our eyes open for now. That is the weirdest looking rock I think I've ever seen, and we can't even hit it with anything. 
Wow, okay. Odd. Okay. There we go. Got it right that time. Like I said, I'm not finding a whole lot of condensed carbon anywhere. I was hoping to find, like, fields of it, but usually with these planets, you usually do, so it's really strange. this thing. Eh. Flew right through the rock. Uh, we got a cave here. Let's go ahead and just duck in real quick and recharge. There we go. And life support's getting really low, so we're going to... How much oxygen we got? 93. Let's do this. And then we're going to use one of those to get us the rest of the way. So that seems kind of an odd thing to do, but I don't like using two, two uh, life support shells. Okay, we're good. Let's get out of here. Back the other way. And we want to get to the top of this thing. Hopefully we can start seeing stuff. We literally have not found any buildings so whatsoever. Now, I'll be clear about that, too. I mean, it's not like I've really been looking hard, because right now, survival is the name of the game. You're just trying to survive. Nice. Glad we recharged our life support. Getting a full boost to the top of this because of the steepness of the rock. Whoa. Okay, that was cool. Right at the edge. Alright. So, where is our ring? There's the ring. We literally hit... Whoa! Hey, good God, man. Could have stole your ship from you, you... Crazy person. Get all the way up here. Um, that's a really good sign. They are literally going straight. So, if there's anything, it's going to be straight down that way. So, we're going to see that peak over there, that really tall peaked mountain. That's the direction we're heading. We are in good shape. So, we want to go equidistant between those two and head straight towards those peaked mountains. Okay. How are we doing? Okay. Good. And do we see any buildings? That's the next thing we got to look for. Don't see anything at this time. I wonder. Hmm. Kind of too bad we don't have beetles on this planet. I would try to befriend them and then ride one. Bet you we could get a lot further that way. Alright. So we're going to head for those peaks. So we have a plan. There we go. Alright. Alright. So I, I'm starting to feel a little better about this. I thought we were, like, on death's doorstep here, but... We're starting to look pretty good. Uh, ship flying south. We've got a lot of ships flying right at ground level. It's kind of crazy. I don't know what that's about. Boink. didn't like that. Okay. No problem, buddy. We'll get out of your hair, I promise. Keep our eyes peeled. So now we're going to be doing a lot more looking around. Okay? A lot more looking around. Okay. Not 
not yet. finding anything. It's really amazing. This is really, really difficult. It's kind of scary and creepy at the same time. You want a challenge, folks. This is probably the best challenge I've ever had. This is the way it should be. I think all of my new permadeath runs are going to be like this. My Iron Man challenges. I think I'm going to do it this way because... Frankly, I think it's a good idea. Alright. Let's see if my theory holds true with these two. I don't know if we're going to see them long enough to be able to judge that. Wow. They dropped that quickly. Alright, they're going slightly to the left this time. So we said that we were going to head towards that uh, mountain in the distance. That's where we should probably head. I think our life support's getting low. Yeah, it is. Ah. We're gonna have to do this the hard way. Um, oh, wait a minute. What's this? Let's go ahead and use all that up. Okay, we're good. Carry on. Happy we got plants. Where's the pulpy roots? What are they for? Hazard. There we go. Good, good, good. Oh. That time I saw you. Alright. Up the mountain. Let's keep going. Oh, this is just... It's really kind of crazy. Reef. How long have we been running? 40 minutes now. That's the difficulty of these challenges. Is, you know, finding anything. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking ship right here. I like that design. That's pretty neat. Very spacey. Okay, so you're heading in that direction. You're going to be turning to the left when you get up there. Ah, we got another plant we can get some stuff from. Excellent. See? It's curving to the left. So we had the right idea. Life support. Good. Hazard, we're doing all right on. There we go. Put some more of that. Go up this small hill. Ah. Really? Come on. Drives me nuts. Still haven't seen any condensed carbon on this planet, so... I'm not even sure if we've reached the right mountain, to be honest. Because the mountains were kind of sharp looking, but, you know, that's distance, too. You know? Honestly. So, we're heading that way. Okay. Uh, it's alright. Hazard protection is running low, but we got plenty of sodium, so I'll use that this time. Alright, looks like we got ourselves a nice piece of damaged machinery. Let's see what it can offer us. And yeah, just twist my ankle again. Me and my broken ankles, I get all the time. Okay, they're heading in the general direction I want to go in. So we just got some more nanites. And they're going straight. So that's the direction. That's it. Uh, we need money. Right? So we're going to turn around right here. Switch over. Let's dig holes and see what we can find. Oh, 
there it is. Okay. Alright, there's a big mountain in the distance. That looks good. That's chlorine. So, that's actually not bad. It's not very expensive anymore. It used to be the go-to that you could get. And if I gather it, there's a good chance that the sentinels are going to get pissed at me. Well, there sure is a lot of it over here. We got lucky on this one. All right, how much did we get? Wow. Okay, that's a lot. Sixty-one thousand. I mean, it's not that great, but put my hazard protection in. There we go. Hundred percent. And they all laughed at me. I don't know who all them are, but you know, whatever. Okay, let's move you out of the way. Let's put you into our multi-tool real quick and charge it back up and get rid of the rest. Looks like we're running low on a couple of things we probably want to get. Okay. Alright. Another piece of machinery here. Let's go ahead and grab it. Maybe we can get some hazard protection out of it. That would be kind of nice. Anything? Wow, okay, this is one of the ones we may just have to give up on because it may be really, really deep and we just aren't going to see it. Okay, we're going to give up on this one. And the thing about doing that is you got to remember what direction you're headed in. So there's the rings. So we're heading in that direction. Okay. Now let's head for that mountain there. And hopefully we can see something from up there. I didn't break my ankle there. Carbon always, but we also need the rocks. Sounds like we have a sentinel getting upset. Um, yeah, hazard protection starting to get low. Oh, I know what that is. to the top of that thing and see what we got come, going on. Looks like we got some oxygen over there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Very nice. Alright. Mountain, mountain, here we go. Deeper than that, considering I can't not climb it. Shouldn't I be able to climb it if it's not going to allow me to use my jetpack? Oh, that just stinks. Uh, this one's finally steep enough to get up to this one, but I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get. There we go, finally. Wow, that was terrible. 
How am my life support doing? Okay. All right, once again, take a look around. Vegetation is getting in our way. Again, we're heading in that direction, so we're going to hit for, hit for that mountain next. Let's go over here so we can take another look. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is just terrible. We could zoom and stuff like that, but unless something really pops at us, we can't find anything. Oi, this stinks. Hey guys, what do you got? You're gonna head right, I know you are. Let's take one quick look. Didn't even know you were there, sorry buddy. Yep, they're heading right. Okay, so let's head towards that. Wow. Could have read the newspaper on the way down. Oh, for Pete's sake, really? A lot of flashing. Does that mean something got damaged? No. Let's use some oxygen this time. Yeah, of course I broke my ankle. See if I can get some uh, ferrite while I'm at it. Without the sentinel, the guy's getting a little bit upset with me again. Got some plants here, so I'm gonna make use of them. Ooh, two of these. That's good. Really good. That's a ship. Now, let's see if we get it. Someone popping out of it. So remember, we gotta go back. Ah, someone did. So we can trade some stuff with them. We don't have much that we can trade with, but let's offer to trade. Uh, let's see. Sell? Oh, good. They will buy this off of me. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Uh, let's get rid of the microprocessors. We don't need them. Uh, salvage data. Good. Uh, don't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. The chlorine. Yes, let's get rid of that. I uh, think that should be it. That's really all I really want to sell. So we end up with half a mil. That's pretty good. Uh, we can't afford anything he has, so I'm not going to worry about it. But I want to thank you. How much is your ship? Just out of curiosity, my friend. C-Class. Five million. Now, if we could exchange our old ship for this one, we could buy it. But that's not allowed. We can't use it. But... We need five million. Ah, what a shame, right? Thanks, man. Not a bad, uh, bad thing to happen, though, I'll tell you. Looks like we got some things. So that's good. We actually were able to sell some stuff, so that, I'm really appreciative of that, but... And her voice will go away soon. It won't show up. And of course, what we're going to do too is at the end, we're going to turn the HUD back on. If we achieve our goal. If I don't die first. And once we do that, we can... We'll get all the achievements. And all the things I've collected. close to that guy. Did he damage me? No? Okay. Hazard. Life support. 
good. Okay. All right, let's get up to the top of this thing and take a look around. I haven't found anything yet. And you know, the sad part is we could have just passed by like three different, you know, uh, ships, crash ships, or abandoned structures, or trading posts. The trading posts are kind of hard to not, uh, try not, kind of hard to miss, but. That's why I also boosted up my life support here, because I knew I was going up this hill. And we're at the top. That looks like condensed carbon over there. I think. Ah, I'd like to head over there. But let me head over to this thing. If it's condensed carbon, it's definitely worth my time. It is. So if we can get it without the sentinels attacking me, that'll be really good. Excellent. And another one over there. We gotta, we gotta go be back the other way, but let's do it while we can. I know, I know, you don't like me. But I got enough. I should be in good shape. Alright, it's this way we want to go. see a whole lot from this spot. Maybe we gotta head over there. There's little noises and stuff you hear. It looks like our life support's about halfway down. Okay, singular ship. down into the gorge there and he's curving a little more to the left only slightly though so it's pretty much what I suspected in that general direction so I want to head towards those two over there uh, again we want to look down below and see if we see anything ah oh, these plants I tell you that's going to be the biggest issue here These are all hazard. Okay. Wait a minute, there was another one. No, there wasn't. Okay, never mind. Keep going. I'm gonna head over there and see what we can find. Now we're suddenly finding a whole bunch of it. I don't know why. That's really strange. Utilize those when you can. You gotta know when to turn it off. See? Again, we're not finding a whole lot. Yeah, daytime, good. Looks like more nanites. Just make sure. Maybe we'll get fortunate and we'll be right here. Don't forget to get rid of the silicon that gets into your inventory. Looks like we got a cave out there too. Alright. 
that towards the cave for a second. We'll stand in the cave and see if we can take out some more of this area. Yeah, not really. Oh, what do you know? Found it. Alright, let's get rid of the silicon. Man, that stuff picks up quick. Unbelievable. Alright, let's go. Okay. Up we go. Now, the funny part is, is that somehow I've gotten myself turned around. Because... That's what I think I need to head to. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Okay, good, good. Jeez. That was weird. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is just... Unbelievable. Yep, 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 yep. I know, you, you slap me. I get it. Life support's really low. Uh, we'll use some oxygen. Didn't really want to do that. I really need to find some plants that'll feed me some food or find a lot more oxygen. No sentinels attacking me right now. That was a good time to get that stuff. Alright. Yep, there he is. Just took a little while to find me. Okay. Aha! First settlement style thing. Oh! Just what I needed. An oxygen patch. What, they don't like me picking flowers now? Good, 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 good. That was fantastic. Alright, let's head inside. Take a break and a breather. Get some nanites. Alright, good. Excellent. Looks like we got a couple extra of these, so I'm going to make two more. Uh, all right, looking pretty good. Drop you in. That's carbon. Good. It's a good time to top off everything. Check to see what kind of protections you've got. Yeah, we got plenty of oxygen now, right? Good, 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 good. This is really great. Need, do need some more cobalt eventually. Okay. Let's go next door. And we know there's going to be some buried technology here. There's nothing down here. Nothing. Alright. It's a cheap area. Maybe we'll get fortunate. No, oh, just some more nanites. Let's see what we got. So it's going to be here or over there. I'm going to dig all this out and take a look. Probably over here. They're usually pretty deep in these areas. Huh. Wow. I 
Oh, there it is. Got it. Jeez. Three, four, five. Up we go. We're going to step back into one of those things here in just a minute so we can recharge our shield. We've been outside a little bit too long. I switched over to my mining laser. This gives us a save point, too, in case something happens. All right. Now let's head inside real quick. All right, good. Uh, let's see. So we got a navigation data that we can hang on to for now. Uh, make one more of those since we've got an extra. Got plenty of these guys. Don't really need that. We'll get rid of it at the first opportunity. Let's get rid of you and you. Okay. Let's go. Now, hard part is which way were we headed? I think we were headed in this general direction. Yes, we were. Oh, there was two of them. Or was it just one of them, maybe? Maybe it was just one of them and I hit a rock. Probably what happened. As expected, we've got some cobalt. enough to make some batteries if we need them. Okay, there it looks like our mountains that we were heading towards, so that's good. They're heading in a different direction than I'm wanting to go. Alright, now, you know, the funny part is about those buildings like that, Sometimes they come in clusters, so sometimes there's more buildings floating around nearby. If you're fortunate, you can find something. Now, even if we find one of those little outposts that say, hey, you know, there's something here, uh, you can find a minor settlement in this area, you can't see it because you don't have a visor. There's no HUD. So it really doesn't help us other than to give us an aerial view of around us. And then we can take a look around. So, keeping that in mind. Alright, looks like my hazard protection is getting a little low. I'm not going to charge it, though. We're going to do it the other way. Uh, let's see. Life support. Good. Excellent. Heat sake. You know, I was looking for it, too, you know? I've been looking for those to make sure I didn't run into them. Still gonna find one to slap. Alright, which one do we go? Let's go with that one. Looks like it's taller. Trying to look everywhere we can here. It's a cool planet. I mean... The problem is the vegetation is so stinking tall, I can't see anything. See where they're going. So once we get up here, we gotta go all the way to the other side of it in order to see what's going on. Okay, this way. Like we just got slapped again. Unbelievable. I hate those plants. much. We're an hour and eight into this. It's hour and ten minutes in the complete video, but hour and eight. All right. Daytime. Top of this point here. Let's take a look around. All right. Life support. We're going to go ahead and use a gel. 
Um, we got plenty of plants. Let's use the plants up first. There we go. And let's take another closer look. I think I want to look from over there. Not seeing anything in this general direction. No. Not seeing anything. A whole lot of nothing. Really thinking about seeing if I can't make some creature pellets and feed some of these animals. That'd be great. Okay, that hauler, where is he going? I'm assuming he's going to dart left here any second. There he goes. We also look for them to come to a spot and then start circling. Alright, so we're going to be heading for those mountains. He shot straight up to the sky. Okay, let's look from over here. Check down the whole side of the cliff. Looks like we've got some more chlorine down there we can grab. That's my mining laser. Okay, just making sure. I don't see anything straight down below us. Alright, well, that's a sad thing. All right, down we go. Nice. We'll use the plants next time. I just had an opportunity to use only one of those, so. Okay. Good. Good. A little bit of the Emperor going on there. Good. Feel the dark side. Want to recharge your carbon. No, we're doing it all right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go over here. I'm going to grab a plant and jet. oxygen down there. We could have grabbed it, but I think we got plenty of oxygen on us, so that's a good thing. Okay. Looking good. Now, if we could just find ourselves a crashed ship, we'll be in even better shape. So every time we get that weird noise... We know that some level has dropped. That's important. Yep, he's going that way. Except my protection's dropped enough that I need to use it. There we go. For a second, because I heard a car door. Could be a neighbor. Could be our own house.
that's where we're headed. We're headed in a slightly wrong direction there. Okay, so what we're going to do is I think what we're going to do for these episodes from now on... I was doing them in one-hour increments. I'm going to do them in two-hour increments. I know that's a long time. But as you can see, there is so much that needs to be done in these episodes. I don't think one hour is enough. Hazard protection, hazard protection, hazard protection. Come on, buddy. Now, get a guess. Okay, and yeah, get some that. Get some of that baloney. I'll just get rid of that too while we're at it. Shooting in the direction that we're going to be going in. If it was going to be here, it would have been right here. Oh, there it is. Oh, deep this time, huh? It's nighttime already? Okay, yeah, I guess so. Good. Good. There it is again. Sorry, I get that way once in a while. A little Star Wars kicks in. Me and my son have been watching a lot of, uh, trying to introduce him to Clone Wars. He loves Rebels. I told him, I said, you gotta watch the Clone Wars, though. It's, it's all related. And I feel like I failed as a father if I haven't taught him. I think we got some plants over here. We'll go ahead and grab some. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I thought I saw something else there. Oh, what do you know? Okay, yeah, my hazard protection I can see is getting low by looking at the back of my suit here. Okay. We'll use the sodium this time. All right. Ring, ring, this way. Get to the other side of this thing, it'd be great. And we got a huge plant right in the middle of it all. Love it. I think what we're going to have to hope for at this point is either we literally walk right into a crash ship or we find a landing structure. So one of the, one of the trading outposts. The large trading outposts. Because these plants are going to cause us all kinds of grief. They started heading straight, so they didn't curve or turn or anything like that, so we're heading that way. Next mountain. And I, again, I'm not seeing anything. Absolutely lovely. Panic, little man. Panic. Ah, crap. Wow. Lots of damage there. 
Nothing got broken. Let's move some stuff around here. Uh, uh, hold on. I'm going to eat one of those just to play it safe. Okay. There we go. Moving on. So that way, right? Hopefully that was enough time for my shield to restore. straight in front of us. Let's go ahead and grab some plant food. Not like, like being on a vegan diet, but at this point it is healthy for us to do so. Oh, a couple different plants here. Nice. Life support. Good. And hazard protection. There we go. Keep going. Keep our eyes peeled. When we get to these open areas, it's going to be really nice to find something. Guy's gonna curve to the right. That was a nice little. Uh... I don't like haulers too much, but there's some of them that I do like the appearance of. Lost my charge, so let's go ahead and grab some stuff here. Ah, look at that. Knows what we got out of that, but all right, that was a good little find. How'd we do? Let's get rid of this. Uh, get the chlorine that we're going to be selling. Fireberry should be for hazard, I think. Nope, life support. Okay, good. All right, we're looking pretty good here. Nobody's chasing me for that one. There go. Excellent. More plants up ahead. We're going to go ahead and grab those, too. Sorry about the silence here every now and then. Ah, didn't get a good jump on that one. Good. Up we go. Should be all right. Ah, what in the world? Not quite sure what to make of it because we're on a steep slope, but it doesn't really want to give me 
what I want. There we go. Oh, if I must. Hey, you never know. Could be a dihydrogen gel in there, you know? Okay. Get to the other side of this thing. Um, what in the world? Okay. This is weird. Get a plant. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go. All right, we need to get over to the other side of this. Sodium. All right, where's our ring? There's the ring. Okay, so we need to go up there. And let's see if we can see anything. It means we've entered a new region, but it's not going to tell us about it. Okay, we're up high now. All right, so where are we? This is the direction we're headed in. All right, we found ourselves a building. Looks like, yeah, one of those buildings that'll tell us where there's a crashed ship, but unfortunately, we won't be able to see it. But you know what? It's a building. Building's a building. We're gonna go ahead and head down there in just a moment. Where are they? Heading crossways across it. So these guys are going to head right. Our landing pad should be in that area, but it's probably going to be way out there. See, they're heading in that direction. The other guy's going in an odd direction, but he'll turn right. There he goes. Okay. And then they're heading up straight to the sky. Okay. Sorry, big stretch. <sighs> Got to stretch before you get crazy here. How are we doing? Life support's low. Ah, uh, let's see. We've got plenty of oxygen. Let's drop it in. Life support. There we go. Don't need that. Okay. Shall we? Let's take the dive. We'll head for the next outpost. In the meantime... Mm-hmm. Let's head on in. Always going to be something outside. Alright, so at least, at the very least, we're going to get a look at the surroundings, but I'd rather look at it during the day. So I think we're going to camp here for just a couple minutes. I don't know how much longer the day is going to be. Hey, buddy. You really need to have some better lighting in here, you know? He's going to go outside. All right, let's look for navigation data. Ah, it is daytime. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead. We can call our ship in if we want. No, we're not going to do that. All right. And we'll get some stuff out of there. We got some, some other stuff we can get. All right, let's head inside and go ahead and do the scan because this will give us a surrounding... View. Hopefully the clouds won't get in the way. And it'll always be 720 is our first one. Here we go. Take a quick peek, and of course there's clouds everywhere. Okay. I can't see a thing. That's generally the direction we're heading in anyway. Of course, like I said, without a HUD, it doesn't help us at all. All right, so we were up there and came down, and we're heading in that general direction, so that way. 
Okay, well, thanks for stopping by. Let's head over to these things and kill fur. There we go. Let's see if they happen to have ourselves a nice hazard protection would be great. Holy mackerel. What are the chances? Yes. I'll take it. Alright, so that's recharged with phosphorus or iron batteries. Now we got to find ourselves some phosphorus. That will be fantastic. Oh, wow. Talk about your lucky... Lucky situation there. Lucky situation. Alright. Gonna get some phosphorus. We won't need any more of the ion batteries anymore. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Alright, so where's our mountain? There's our mountain. We're heading... Rings that way. Okay. Wonderful. Ah, oh, that is so much better. I don't think we'll even need those anymore. Now that I think about it, we won't need too many plants except for the life support. The life support ones we'll grab. So, see, phosphorus is red, so we just gotta look for a red patch of some product on the ground, and then we'll be able to harvest that, a few hundred of it. Two hundred of it ought to be more than enough to keep us going for quite a long time. Awesome! Alright, so that's probably the best news I've had in a while. We won't need the sodium as much anymore, either. Up we go. So this doesn't use any life support on the way up. Now it is, because it's emptied out already, but that's okay. Whoa, okay. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, actually, that's the direction we want to go in, so... We'll head that way. Let's see how many of these plants we actually need. Hazard protection. We're done with that. Life support. Hazard protection gone. So, okay, so those fire berries are good for us. We're going to keep those. See? Very nice. <laughs> I am so happy. Okay. So, no circling ships anywhere. And I don't see a crashed ship anywhere. Kind of peer out a little bit. There's, is there something over there? I don't know. Looks like just the petals of the uh, of the thing. Yeah, I think that's all that was. Well, that could be phosphorus. Yes, it is. There's phosphorus on the ground over there. All right, we're gonna head in that general direction and get some us get us some phosphorus. Huh? Cool. I know we can land on those, so that's pretty good. If that's phosphorus in the distance over there, we're in good shape. We'll be able to recharge everything. Ah, yeah. Don't really want to go down there. I don't have any weapons to fight those guys. I mean, it's very expensive items I could get from them, but... I think it was over this way. freighter or something like that. Sometimes that happens.
Okay. So what we can do... Hopefully this will work. It used... It used two of them. Great. Jerk. And it actually only gave us enough for one. Now we don't need that. Worried about that. Wow, let's just talk about fortuitous that we got that. I was really hoping we'd find the phosphorus. I guess it's not over here, and I was seeing things. It's possible. We're just going to have to run across it at some point. We'll see. So now we'll make batteries. I'm okay with that. Caves are a little more plentiful to find, and it's hard to run right across a phosphorus deposit. Okay. Look for buildings. Look for crashed ships. That is not phosphorus. Pretty sure that's, uh... Won't tell me? No? What do we get? Eh, it's copper. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Fireberries. We're gonna go ahead and grab those. Those are good for life support. All the way up. Come on. Whee! I swear it looks like you just kind of got spit out of a cannon. Then. That looks like sack venom. Oh, for crying out loud. Really? Yeah, pretty sure that's sack venom. You don't want to get too close to them. They will injure you. You can harvest them if you have, has if you have the gloves. But we don't have the gloves and we're not going to acquire them anytime soon. This direction. Somewhere out there. Alright, we are an hour and 40 minutes into this. Close to, anyway. Straight down and then straight out. Don't see anything. guy's gonna pop out of the ground at me, I think. Like I said, I don't see anybody circling anywhere, so he's gonna head probably a little to the right. Hmm. No, huh? Interesting. Okay, we'll be heading that way then. So, what's our next goal? I think the double mountains over there would be the best place to head. Again, I'm not seeing anything. I see some plants. You know, the shorter varieties, that is. But I don't see anything else. Okay, let's go. There we go. 
and it looks like my hazard protection is wore off again. No, it hasn't. Interesting. Yeah, 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 I know. Wah, boo-hoo. You like your rocks. Sorry. Watch for the red stuff on the ground, too. Oh, for Pete's sake. And those things. Those stupid little things. What's this? Gold stuff. Yeah, it's copper. Oh, gotta be kidding me. And I found a cave, too. What do you know? I'll get a little bit of this and we'll... Call it. Come on. Thank you. Your batteries. Sooner or later, we're not going to need you guys anymore. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sorry, it was an opportunity to check a message. I'm heading in the right direction now. Yeah, this way. Okay. And my hazard protection is probably where it is. Red deposits on the ground. some way all the way down to this. Good. That wasn't too, too shabby. Let's get back up the other side. Weird rocks, you know? to find some phosphorus. We have four down there. Watch. Good. Alright. Just want to make sure. That might be the way to do it. No. Oh, keep our eyes peeled. Never know when something might be close by and we can grab it. Okay, we are at Almost an hour and 45 minutes, so we are going to be calling this soon. With these types of challenges, I, I know I usually say, hey, no more than two hours, but this kind of challenge takes much longer because of the fact that you can't see anything. So you got to give it more time. Keep 
getting a look the, for the phosphorus, so I gotta keep my eyes peeled for that too. Now, what would happen? What would happen if we found a trading post? Well, what would happen is we would have to try to find a way to mark it or remember where it is because we obviously don't have enough money to buy a ship. And then we'd have to scour the, 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 the area around it to find enough to purchase a ship, enough to sell in order to purchase a ship. So, yeah, that would be very tough. Ooh, some nice looking ships. That little fighter on the left hand side is pretty cool. Alright, we're about to slip into nighttime, it looks like. Yep. We're up a little bit higher. No harm in taking a quick peek around. You never know what you might find. Did that one time and I found a crashed ship on one of these. And, of course, the plant that wants to whip the crap out of me. I'm going to have to come up with a name for those things. I know it has an official name, but... No, we got to give it a nickname. <sighs> give me a few minutes. I'll figure it out. I don't know. Not a matrix plant? Taking a look, because you don't know what might be down there. You could w literally walk right past a ship that's crashed, and you wouldn't know it, unless you got your eyes peeled for it. Uh, always got to check, make sure you didn't break anything. our jetpack. Unbelievable. So, need, well, need five more. peeled. I just got a feeling, you know, that there's something here that I need to keep an eye open for. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's going to be a ship or something else. Looks like we got some oxygen down there. Not really too concerned about that. Ah, phosphorus. Let's go grab that. That's the thing we need. Phosphorus, right? Sure is. And now we have a more convenient way to charge our shield. Way more convenient. Very nice. Seriously?
this is a good happenstance. So even if we end this at the two hour mark, we're in really good shape with a shield. Uh, the only problem is, is finding a ship. And we're really having a difficult time with that. How are we doing? Let's see, how much do we have? 260. You know what? We only need 40 more for a full stack. Let's just go ahead and grab it. Should be enough, right? Let's see what we got. Yep, that should do it. See? Look at that. We're going to take you, put you in here. Do we have any more silicone on board? No, we don't. Excellent. And this is... Assumed. Put you down here. Okay, we're in good shape. I'm going to get rid of you. We don't need you anymore. Okay, and then we'll use up those batteries, and we'll be in good shape. So let's go ahead and get a move on. Uh, let's just make sure we're heading in the right direction this way. So the only thing left we need to do at this point is stay alive, stop injuring myself. Uh, let's make sure everything's okay. Yes, okay. And stay alive, stop injuring myself. Keep enough oxygen on me to keep me alive. And... Buy myself a ship. Love to find a building to end this at. But the good news is, is that uh, No Man's Sky now saves your game every few moments. Every few minutes or so. It's, it doesn't auto-save. It doesn't have anything that pops up on the screen and says, hey, we're auto-saving right now or anything like that. But, 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 but. but. Finding a ship is our ultimate goal at this point. And that is all we have left. Now, of course, that's been the goal since the beginning. I get that. But before, it was staying alive and finding a ship. Now we're in pretty good straits that, yeah, you know what? I think we got this. We're in much better shape. But it's the finding the ship part that could really hurt us right now because of the fact that we can't see anything beyond our immediate vicinity. And at night, with all these plants and everything like that, again, you could walk right past a crash ship and not even realize it. You know, there could have been one sitting right here, and we wouldn't have known it. So, anyway, I think I'm going to give this run a pause very soon. I would love, to, again, like I said, I would love to find some place to stop. I wish there was something nearby I could stop at, but... Um, how much time we got left? We got about five minutes. Let's see what we find. Let's see what we find. That'll be, that'll be alright. Life support's getting a little low. We'll use some of that oxygen we have on us. These guys are heading that direction. They're going to be turning to the right soon. I'm not even going to bother looking at them. That's no use. I already know. Good. Almost went down a hole. And checking out these planes while you walk through them is important. It's like there could be something sitting in the middle of these wide open spaces because the procedural generation will allow for a wide open space to produce something like a building or a resource that you need. So keep a close look around while you're jetting about Recharge your unit. Here, look at that. It only takes 20 to recharge it to its full capacity. Now, one thing you can do to extend that is you could wait until your hazard protection drops really low and then recharge your shield. So, that would be one thing to extend this out. Uh, something shiny in the distance. Plant. 
Ooh, shiny. Yeah, I know. Uh, looks like we're coming up on a really big hole. It doesn't look like there's anything down there, so... Which way? Let's head to the right. And, of course, I got whipped going past. Just make sure your suit integrity is okay. Ah, another one. one damage my life support once, so you kind of want to keep an eye on that. There we go. I don't know what we got, but probably some more nanites, I'm guessing. Yes, we did. I am not going to try to gather anything right at the moment. I am hoping for a crash ship. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh my gosh. They're just whipping the crap out of me now. This is kind of an open area in here. Oh, there's another plant. Let's get away from him. Kind of an open area that I keep expecting to find at least a building or something in. to the ground for when it runs out. Okay. Looks like we're coming up on daytime, finally. Yeah, we got daytime coming. The rings. We're going this direction. Head towards, I guess, that mountain. Okay. So let's check our hazard protection. We're doing pretty good. So we're going to give that part a little shot here. We're just coming up on the two hour mark. Big wide open spaces. I was hoping we'll find something in these. It's about the time period when you would. And we're going to take a closer look as we go. It's a really kind of nice looking ship there. Nothing in that dell. See, they went slightly to the left over there, so I think we're going to start heading in more in that general direction. protections out again, so we're onto the main shield. So, we're, like I said, we're gonna... Oops. Didn't know I was on that still. Alright, good deal.
Right in the middle of a rock. How am I supposed to see you? Just in case. Because you never know, right? This whole area just looks kind of open invitation to finding something. Hazard protection's down to 27%, so we're going to go ahead and add our 20 to that, and that will bring everybody back up. Good. Very good, see? Utilizing it to the best of our ability. A reflection on the rock. Okay. This whole area, just, it's, it's one of those areas you look around at and you're like, oh, there's something around here. I know there is, but darn it if I can find out what it is. A scanner module. Trying to find all the animals is really not important right now. I kind of expected to run across a campground or something like that. I know we're a little over the two hour mark right now. Let's see if we can get out of this area real fast. Yeah. Check things out. Maybe every time I say I'm going to end the episode here, and then like ten minutes later I find exactly what I'm looking for. I'm like, okay, great. Now I got to stitch episodes together. Yeah, it's one of those ships again. Kind of a nice fighter. Probably going to be very expensive though. See me looking all over the place. Ugh. I hate when I run into something when you start to jet. Drives me nuts. I dislike it to an extreme degree. Ah! Mm -hmm. Twice in a row. There we go. What? Yeah, you're right, sure enough. And let's use you. Great. Just in case. And I really don't need that. Thank you. Didn't know my life support was that low. Should really be watching the back of my suit at the same time, and watching the surrounding terrains, and watching my hazard protection, and watching for ships flying overhead, and watching. I just don't have enough eyes. Now well, this is one heck of a landscape. It's really, really crazy. Much different than what we were on before. There's those guys flying by. Okay, so they're heading in the direction that I thought we were going to have to go with. Just gathering up a little extra. Okay. That's all we needed. Is crazy. 
probably walk past 14 buildings by now. It would be really great is if we had someone watching. And you could sit there and laugh at you in the background and say, ha huh, huh, you wouldn't believe what he just walked past. money right there, people. This looks like a perfect spot to have a campsite, and yet I see nothing. Nothing. It's like there's got to be something, like, right here. I keep expecting looking at a hillside and seeing a building on it or something along those lines, and I'm not seeing it. It's driving me nuts. Really didn't think I dropped that far. It flashed a couple times. That sometimes means you damaged something. Nope, we're okay. How's our oxygen? There we go. As long as you can find a lot of oxygen, you should be okay. You don't have to get life, life, uh, life support gels. You know I'm going nuts now. I, I'm like thinking to myself, I've got to find something here. I think we need to get up to the top of that. Take a look around. More importantly, see what I missed. Maybe even look behind me and see if I missed something back behind us. Unbelievable. Like when the graphics catch up to you and you see plants settling into the ground. Kind of creepy looking, yeah. All right, let's say we get up to the top of this little promontory area here, and we'll call it. If we don't see anything, we call it. We stop here, and we'll pick up in another video. For all I know, this will take 16 hours to find something, so... interesting. Very interesting about the ring. Kind of watching these guys. Now they're heading to the left. That's weird. Does that mean I missed something? Did I miss something along the way? Was there a if there was a landing pad near me and I didn't even know it. I always call it a landing pad, sorry. Just happen. I want 
check my life support. Yep, life support's getting low. right down do not see anything looks like my life's my hazard protection shield just depleted okay I am not seeing anything I don't know about you guys but I see nothing absolutely nothing missed something. That's my guess, is I apparently missed a landing platform someplace. And it's probably telling to tell me it's over there. Yeah, I know. Okay. I think it is time we threw in the towel for this episode. So we're going to leave this at two hours. Just over ten minutes, it looks like. All right. Yeah. I don't know if I want to continue to head in this direction or not. I keep thinking about doing it, and it's like, it's like the rings are getting in a different position. I don't know what to describe it as. I, don't, I almost feel like I've messed up somehow, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and dig myself a hole or something like that. And I guess we're going to have to call it. I was hoping to just at least find a building or something. Yep, we're right where we need to be. Got to use up the batteries. Just take a look at this side real fast, and we'll go ahead and shut down, folks. So I seem to see a lot out this way of nothing, but still. Love to see where they're going. But wouldn't it be great if I just found myself a ship right there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this like we're ending it and I'm going to be continuing to play and I'll be probably creating a new episode from it but if I happen to find something rather quickly then I will make it all one big episode but probably not so anywho so we're going to go ahead and call it here folks thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe. Please hit that like button. I know this is a very long video, but it's a very difficult run. And, uh, you know, kind of give me credit for that anyway. So we'll see you in the next episode.